Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Yamaha's WXC50. This is a little module add-on in Yamaha's MusiCast range, enabling a user to take a traditional old amplifier and add a, a lot of modern features all in one very affordable box. This features an optical digital input, analog, it's got all of the MusiCast architecture as well. So it will stream Spotify, Tidal and Deezer. It'll play music directly off your phone. It's got Bluetooth on board. Uh, it'll play off a USB. Um, and this little small product can, can easily be integrated into any amplifier, adding uh, a modern flair and twist to an old stereo. Okay, so let's have a look. Firstly, the packaging. It's uh, full colour packaging. Uh, there's a uh, good pictorial on the front, as well as some stylized photographs of how you might utilise this in a number of applications. On one end, we've got the model and serial number information, and on the other end, a whole lot of compliance associated with uh, Apple and AirPlay and other things along those lines. Um, on the back, is a pictorial of some of the basic ins and outs and I'll be honest I refer to this quite a lot with customers when they are setting the product up. It's very straightforward, it shows a number of the inputs, the outputs and other things along those lines. Okay, so opening this doesn't require a craft knife. It's a simple enough process to open up the flap and expose the packaging and other things inside. In the box there is a, a basic user manual and uh, an invitation to download MusiCast's uh, control app. Now please, if you're buying a MusiCast product, we, we genuinely recommend that you download the MusiCast app. It is the simplest and easiest way of using the product and ensures that the software and other things like that is kept up to date. Um, there is a Wi-Fi aerial, and there's only one. That's all it needs. There's a basic... Um, Credit card sized remote control, a few buttons on here, and again, this is just for basic control of selecting inputs and uh, play, stop, pause, that kind of stuff. Uh, all of the day to day control is most likely done from a smartphone app or an iPad, so the remote doesn't need to be anything special. There's two uh, feet. Now, these are plastic feet, enabling the unit to sit uh, vertically if required, uh, perhaps to give you a little bit more space. Certainly, in a uh, an environment where it's on a bench or a side table or something like that, vertical may keep things nice and compact. They've got, by the way, good rubbery, rubberized uh, feet on the bottom too. So the first thing is obviously getting rid of the polystyrene. You'll see when I tip it up again that um, this is enabling the user to, sorry, enabling the product to sit uh, very well protected for freight and other things like that. There is a figure eight power cord a New Zealand plug, and the unit itself. The, the packaging is quite easy to remove with a simple nip, uh, and the sort of poly paper can easily be discarded. Looking at the product for the first time, you see how simple and elegant the design is. This is sort of half size if we look at how it might sit with an amplifier, and it's genuinely designed to be very, very easy to integrate in any number of different environments. This is the passive version of the two options that are available. This is the C50. They do an A50, which we're going to do an unboxing video of as well. Uh, nevertheless, the basic control, you've got um, uh, a, a indicator for uh, illumination, uh, letting you know what's going on with the amplifier. You've got a power button, input select, play pause, and then some status lights to let you know what's going on. Now this status light changes uh, into many different colours including blue, purple, red, all those things, depending on what's going on. For example, it blinks blue um, for, uh, sorry, it turns blue for uh, blue ray, uh, sorry, Bluetooth input, and all sorts along those lines. There's a network one, and again, this helps to indicate what's going on with the wired and wireless network. And a Bluetooth button, uh, letting you know the Bluetooth input has been selected, and of course, blinks for pairing. There's uh, the uh, volume control, this is a rotary encoder, um, so of course, there's no stop point. Tipping it forward and having a look at the top, you'll see some basic ventilation, MusiCast logo, and of course, Yamaha. 
Looking at the side again, a little bit more ventilation, and the bottom you've got some you've got four really elegant rubber feet. This is designed to make sure when it's on a surface it's going to grip well. Um, these feet can be removed relatively easily if you're putting in a vertical situation. Okay. Now the magic happens at the back. And please hang around for some photographs where I'll show you some close-ups of some of these features, which make this product not only extremely good value, but a very, very practical add-on if you've got an old stereo. Remember that this immediately introduces all of the MusiCast architecture and features. So that's Bluetooth, streaming off your phones, AirPlay, uh, you name it, all of those streaming things that are part of the MusiCast architecture are now available. Well, more importantly, with a few of these additional features, it allows that stereo or old home theatre system, whatever you're plugging this into, to be integrated in a two-way communication back to other music cast products in your home. The first and one of the reasons I'm really impressed with this product is that they've got an optical digital input. This input is extremely important for those that have a modern smart television and don't have any uh, digital inputs on their preamp or integrated amplifier. It enables optical in and analog out very, very easily achieved. It's got an AC mains input, obviously for the power cord. It's got a network input for, obviously, a uh, cabled network. And again, we do recommend if you can run a network cable to something, please do. Uh, use wireless for wireless only products uh, and try and reduce the chatter associated with uh, too many products on your wireless network. There's a couple of control uh, inputs. This is uh, trigger in and out. Basically, you can turn this on and off. So turn on your amplifier. This will also power up. It's got a switch here which is quite unique and one I have respect for. It's the ability to turn off wireless with a switch, forcing it to remain off the wireless network. The switch actually has three, uh, three locations. One is to turn on and off Bluetooth, and the second, the second location is to turn off wireless or Wi-Fi. Beneath that is a USB. Now this is for playback off a uh, USB pen drive or other small external hard drives. Um, it will also provide 5 volts of low amperage, uh, so it will charge a smartphone if you happen to be using its Bluetooth. Then it's got the auxiliary in and out. Now this kind of tape loop effect enables this to daisy chain off to do many other things. This gives a fixed output if you're putting it into uh, a number of sort of multi-room applications and more importantly an analog input so you've got the ability to use this uh, for, for example if you're using a small CD player or some other device as part of a, a stereo or you've lost an analog input that's kind of vital you can then regain that using that input again the output is uh, fixed then you've got a subwoofer output and a remote control in there. That's for infrared for remote, and a subwoofer obviously self-explanatory. The magic starts to happen over here, and this is where this preamp section is slightly different on the amplification version, but here you've got the RCA outputs. Now there's a simple switch beside it which I'm going to mention. This enables the user to change between a pre-out, where the volume is variable from the app or the remote, or to a fixed output where you would use the volume or remote of the stereo or theatre you already own. If I understand correctly, switching between the two, you simply flick this little switch and then unpower the product, plug it back in or reset into either the fixed or pre-out version. There's also optical and coaxial digital outputs. Now this again adds a simple feature that is uh, essential for many applications. If you are putting this into either a DAC or an amplifier that uh, you know, a legacy home theatre amplifier, you may be running out of uh, inputs. So being able to utilise either a coax or an optical digital output is also very important. Some key features, of course, you've got optical and analog in, which would then allow you to go optical or coax digital out. So there's a number of applications where this piece can become vital as far as introducing any number of different source components in any number of different applications. So it's great to see some of these features so well implemented. Last but not least is, of course, the Wi-Fi antenna. Off to one side, I would assume to assure uh, best reception and perhaps uh, uh, radiate less noise through the unit. And you'll see, if you hang around for some photographs, I'll attach the aerial so you'll see how it looks. So there we go. This lovely little product from Yamaha. MusicCast little add-on, their, their sort of MusicCast preamp, for want of a better description. The uh, WX uh, 
C50, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.